Hello everyone, Adam here with AZ Premier GK, and today we're going to take a look at the HO Phenomenon Pro Goalkeeper Glove. But real quick, I would just like to ask everyone to please like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. It really helps my channel out. So anyways, the HO Phenomenon Pro is one of the new gloves from HO's new Phenomenon range. It is one of the two elite gloves from their range. Their elite range of gloves is what they consider their high-end match gloves, the other being the HO Magnetic. It comes only in this orange and black colorway, which is very good looking in my opinion. And then HO introduces their new TX200 Latex in this glove. So let's just take a quick look at the features and then we'll get into in what my opinion this glove can offer you. So the HO Phenomenon Pro features four millimeters of TX200 Latex. Now this is arranged on a hybrid roll negative cut and then the palm design also features a wrap over on the thumb. Now the glove body is made up of a single piece of neoprene, and then there is a little bit of silicone print on the backhand uh, to formulate the punch zone. The entry system consists of a seamless piece of neoprene on the backhand, and then an elasticated piece on the front. And then it features a mid-split wrist strap. So let's just take a quick look at the glove up close and then we'll get into the full review. So the HO Phenomenon Pro is in an entirely new range of gloves from HO, their new Phenomenon range. This is the first time they've produced this range of gloves. And if you saw my video on the HO Phenomenon Magnetic, you would know that I was not very impressed with that glove at all. So my hope was that the HO Phenomenon Pro would redeem the range. Uh, it starts off much better than the Magnetic. This is not a strapless glove. The entry system is similar as it is neoprene on the backhand with a little bit of elastic on the front um, to open it up a bit. Uh, but this entry is much wider than the one on the Magnetic, the strapless glove, so you can actually get the glove on with um, relative ease. Now the rest of the entry system consists of a mid-split wrist strap, which is really great. I love the mid-split idea. You get a little bit of adjustability with the elastic piece, and then you still get a little bit of support from the two latex pieces. Uh, once you get this glove on, the first thing you notice is that it fits a little big. I am usually a size 10 in almost every glove. Uh, I got these in a 10, and there's definitely some extra room at the fingertip, so I would suggest you go down at least a half a size from your normal size uh, if you plan on ordering this glove. This neoprene on the back, it's a very thin piece of neoprene, so it's very flexible, and it provides much more of a relaxed, loose fit as opposed to some tighter-fitting neoprene gloves. Now the rest of the backhand consists of what HO calls their silicone 3.0 system. Uh, in my opinion, this silicone 3.0 system has uh, little to no function. It is much too light. There is barely any silicone. As you can see here, these silicone rubber strips are extremely thin. Uh, they're really not enough to provide any additional grip when you're punching the ball. And then because this neoprene on the backhand is so thin, uh, there's really relatively no padding at all. Okay, so the palm is HO's new TX200 latex. This is supposed to be their new match quality latex. It's supposed to be an all-weather latex uh, that you can use in all types of conditions. It does provide a good degree of grip when it's dry. The one thing I've noticed is the more that you pre-wet this latex, the worse the grip gets. And that's just in my opinion. So it definitely provides a higher degree of grip uh, and when it's dry, not so much when it starts to get really moist. I would say it's not the highest gripping latex out there. I much prefer HO's Aqua Formula latex over this new TX200 latex. However, the latex on the palm seems to be very durable. 
but uh, I'm gonna let you guys know right now I only wore these gloves for one match and that is because of this as you can see here after one match I received a nice little rip uh, on the glove on the outside kind of bottom of the thumb area now I would put this off uh, to being a manufacturing error perhaps but now as you can see this happened on both gloves and this is the first time I wore them in match conditions I wore them once out at the park just to kind of test them out just doing a little handling session just catching some balls very easy no diving anything and then I wore these in one match and as you can see both gloves tore significantly and that is because the stitching that goes around the outside that connects the backhand to the palm is only a single stitch. These are not double stitch like most gloves. There is a single stitch and upon first use both gloves basically fell apart at the seams. So again, I am extremely disappointed with the HO Phenomenon Pro range. This is the second glove in the range, the other one being the Magnetic. So originally when these came out, they were priced at about 85 British pounds, which works out to about 100 American dollars. Obviously not worth it in my opinion. This glove is very poorly constructed with that single stitch around um, the seams. Uh, both gloves fell apart upon first use in match conditions. Uh, the TX200 latex was also not very impressive in my opinion. There are much better gripping latexes out there, especially HO's own Aqua Formula latex I think is a much superior latex than this TX200 latex. The glove also fits a little big. Um, uh, other than that, uh, just very dissatisfied. Uh, these gloves are already on sale on most websites where you can purchase them. I know right now on Pro Direct they are 35% off. On Just for Keepers they are already 40% off. Uh, so if you do want to give them a try, you can basically give them at almost half price in some places, uh, which works out to around uh, you know 45 or 55 British pounds, maybe 60 bucks, if you do want to try it. But in my opinion. Uh, definitely not worth it. Extremely disappointed with the HO Phenomenon Pro. So anyways, I am Adam with AZ Premier GK and that is my review of the HO Phenomenon Pro. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this or any of my videos. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you next time.